You may be aware that Gaza is suffering a major humanitarian crisis. And experts say that it could be uninhabitable by the year 2020. Now, while the lives of over 1.8 million Palestinians is at serious risk, it seems the media is only concerned about how this may affect Israel. Israeli media reported last week that Gaza's economic crisis is liable to blow up in Israel's direction. International media, such as US News, also reported on the issue, but emphasizing how the situation in Gaza is a threat to Israel. But who is to blame for Gaza's current economic crisis? Listen, back in 2006, after Hamas was elected, Israel imposed an international economic and political blockade in Gaza, and they now control what goes in and out of the region. As a result, 80% of businesses have had to shut down because of a lack of access to raw materials and external markets. The result, according to the UN, has been a 44% unemployment rate and a skyrocketing extreme poverty. Also, after the latest Israeli attack on Gaza in 2014, over 1,500 Palestinians were killed and the region was all but destroyed by mass aerial bombings. Also, two years later, Gaza is still in ruins as Israeli forces continue to enforce its blockade. It's undeniable that until the economic siege on Gaza ends, the humanitarian crisis will worsen. And that's something that the international media must recognize and report on.